Hi guys, welcome back to Musician of a Lifetime, and in this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to memorize music. So I'm going to play you a little piece that I memorized, a little part of a piece called Variations on a Korean Folk Song. <laughs> Alright, so that was that. Um, I hope you liked that. Put down in the comments if you liked that um, and you think it was good and if you if you think I need work. Alright, so let's begin the actual lesson. So before you begin doing anything, you have to look at the articulation, you have to look at the time signature, you have to look at the key signature, flats, sharps, all of that. You got to memorize that into your brain and then once you do that, then you start playing. For me, I measure, I, um, what is it? I memorize the sounds of the notes and then I put them together. Um, I figure out what they're supposed to be played and then I play it. For, for a lot of people, they have to do it measure by measure, which is a good thing. I started to do measure by measure to make sure I was doing it right. So, let's start. <laughs> Pretend I was um, starting on that measure and I'm just doing it over and over again until I get it. Okay, so that's day one. I kind of mess up. I get a little better on day two or try two. Then I go to the third part and maybe I get it. So, it's kind of like that, or it is like that. Um, now, it's more trickier than you think. You have to really look at it a lot. You have to play it a lot. And, you know, sometimes you can, me you can kind of, like, memorize the sounds of the notes. Like, for example, in the Ides of March, I memorize this part. part after that I'm still working on that goes up to the high notes but I'll try to play it for you like that now sometimes I can just play it straight on that time I just did it straight on sometimes I just do it I don't know how I do it but I just do it all right I can also memorize um, the last part of Destiny Fanfare by Mikkel Rogers. Like that. So those are the basic steps. If you want to learn something more advanced, it takes a lot more time. I'm going to try to memorize the Mozart um, the Mozart Clarinet Concerto in A major. I got it a little bit. I might mess up though. <laughs> See, I, I haven't looked at it in a while, so I don't know it. So that, I kind of messed up. I'm going to try again. like that and that time I got it 
Let me see if I can do it again. And sometimes you can't. Sometimes that's sort of a one time thing in a long time. And then sometimes you can memorize some of it. Something like that. So, you sort of get the idea. That is the trill, the little trill in Mozart. And I just learned that from memorizing, and I, I hear it in my head, and I play it on my clarinet, which my parents say is awesome, and I hope you guys can learn how to do that too. So, yeah. Now I'm going to memorize the frogs, and I promise you I did not look at it or anything. I'm going to see if I can play it with the glists, or the glissandos. They're easy glissandos, so I'm not doing it with my mouth or anything. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but we'll just go with it. Sometimes you can just do it, you know, just without looking. And some people, you know, they have to look, and they can, and they have to do it measure by measure, which could take longer, but you'll get it eventually. And I've also memorized "Be Thou My Vision." I haven't looked at that either in a while. Anyway, enough of that. So remember, you can either do it measure by measure by measure and um, just keep going over and over until you get it. So you can do this measure a hundred times, this measure a hundred times, this measure a hundred times. <laughs> You get the idea. Or what I do is memorize the notes, memorize the art, it, and kind of play it out. And try. I try not to look at it and just kind of figure it out. Kind of, kind of a puzzle to me. But I still have to remember the key signature, the time signature. Um, what was the other thing? And um, what was it? The key signature, the time signature, and. I think that's all. I, I'm not. I don't remember. Let me go look. Yeah, the key signature and the time signature. I think, and that's all. Oh, and you gotta look. Oh, and you gotta look at the articulation, and the notes, the staccatos, the trills, the glissandos, the mordents, all that um, jazz. But um, you you do it either way. So, remember, memorize, and that's all. <laughs> so, we're going to go over this one more time. If you want to do it n by memorizing the notes, then you still have to remember the key signature, the time signature, articulation, all that stuff. And you just try to figure it out. Or if you want to do it measure by measure, then you do the measure, do 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 do, and then look away and go do 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 do, and just keep doing that over and over until you finally get the measure you want, and then you do the same thing in the next and the next and the next. But you st everything's, but you still have to look at the time signature and the key signature like the other method that I use. You can use it too. Either way is fine. So, yeah, I think that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to play this one last thing 
for you, it might be a little loud. I just feel like playing it, but I memorized it. Well, it's not even from a song. I just memorized the notes. Um, yeah, but, like, I just overblowed that note, but it sounds like a note to me. Okay, that's, that's off topic. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next performance video or maybe a lesson too I'm not sure I also need to tell you guys my smart music subscription has ended so I need to find um, some alternate things to play until I get the forty dollars to um, pay for the subscription for a year so I'm sorry about that um, and also um, if you haven't heard I've made a new intro and there's a lot of and just stuff but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.